Welcome back to the Once A Week Kitchen. Today's video is in response to a request from one of my subscribers. Um, someone wanted to know how to make corned beef fritters. Well, this is something I've never made, so I had a look on the internet and I've come up with what looks like a very easy recipe. So, here goes. Um, let's try it. Right, corned beef fritters. Um, someone's requested that to show a video of corned beef fritters. Well, to be honest, I've never made these before, but I'm going to have a go. This is the tin of corned beef, 360 grams. So there's always a, a bit of fat congealed at the bottom of the corned beef. So I like to cut as much as, as I can off. Just don't want to be eating too much fat. Uh, Elvis will enjoy that. And if you know me at all, you'll know that Elvis is my cat. So that'll be a nice treat for him. So I'm going to cut this meat into slices about, uh, about a centimetre thick. not done very well there but uh, approximately eight slices so to serve four people this recipe in the bowl I've got two ounces of plain flour um, one egg and three tablespoonfuls of milk and for t seasoning I've got a teaspoon half a teaspoonful of mustard, half a teaspoonful of salt and a good old grinding of pepper. So I'm just going to put that in. And I'm simply going to whisk this together to make a batter. As a young girl, spam fritters were very popular because I was born just after the war uh, when there was rationing and I think spam was about the only freely av available meat so sp spam fritters were very often eaten for a cheap filling meal so I suppose this is a bit like spam fritters only with corned beef So I've got some oil eaten in the pan, so I'm simply going to dip these fritters in the batter, pop them in the pan. So when they're browned on one side, I'm just going to turn them over. This is doing a fair bit of spitting, so I'm using one of these spatter guards. Oops. corned beef fritters uh, those are a first for me uh, I've never done them before so I'm just going to try them now and I have to say they do smell very nice um, I would serve these up with maybe peas and 
mashed potatoes uh, or maybe just a salad but I'll let you know how we get on see you later bye